would like to call the Tuesday, October 15, 2019 Board Agenda Annual Meeting to order. Would all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation by Commissioner Phil Duckham. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll, please? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Baer? Present. Commissioner Walls? Here. Commissioner Kennedy? Here. Commissioner Duckham? Present. Commissioner Tompkins? Commissioner Mahoney? Good evening. Commissioner Williams? Present. Commissioner Elwell? Here. Chairman Shotwell? Here. Eight present. Thank you. Entertain a motion to approve the agenda. We have a motion and support. Any questions? Deletions, additions. Seeing or hearing none, all in favor please say aye. aye. Those opposed, duly carried. We have no awards and recognition. Are there any communications or petitions to come to the board? You may present them now. Seeing none, we have no special orders or public hearings. We've now arrived at the first opportunity for public comment. Each individual will state their name. They will have three minutes to address the board. You may only address the board once under public comment opportunity. It may not yield your time to others. Board members will not debate or answer questions at this time. Is there any public comment? Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, we have no special meetings of standing committees. I entertain a motion to for approval of the September 17, 2019. So I have a motion by Commissioner Duckham, support by Commissioner Kennedy. Mr. Bear, I apologize. Any questions or comments or corrections? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor please say aye. aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. We've arrived at the consent agenda. Entertain a motion for the consent agenda. We have a motion in support. Any items for removal for discussion later under the consent agenda? Just a, a quick question. Sure. The approvals. Uh, I'm sorry. No, sir. They'll be ha they'll be handled under committee. Thanks. No other questions. Yes, sir. Uh, and I have one question. Yes, sir. Uh, number 11. Item. E. Is that part of this? Yes, it is. I would like that removed, please. Item 11E under general government fiscal year 2020 will become item 14B. No, excuse me, 15B. Any other items for discussion later? Seeing nor hearing none, Madam Clerk, could you post the vote? Yes, Consent agenda has amended, has passed unanimously. Standing Committee Public Safety and Transportation, chaired by Vice Chairman David Elwell, Commissioner Elwell. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We just have three appointments tonight, all for com the Community Corrections Advisory Board. The first slot is a City Council appointee, and the applicant and recommendation from committee is Colleen Sullivan. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Second slot is a circuit district court probation. Current member is Megan Powell. Applicant was Richard Dace. And the committee recommended appointment was Richard Dace. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing nor hearing none, all in favor please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Third is a service area appointee. There's no current member. The applicant is Chad Sirk, and also the recommendation from committee. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing but hearing none, all in favor please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. That's all I had to report, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Standing Committee Human Services, chaired by uh, Dr. Tompkins, um, Commissioner Tompkins. Mr. Chairman, we have nothing to report. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't there before. Okay, we have three positions which are vacant. Uh, contractor alternate, which new terms expire in 1-2021. Well driller alternate, 1-2020 and licensed sewage system installer alternate 12020. These are all vacant and uh, we're waiting That's for application. Do that. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none. Thank you, Doctor. We'll continue to repost. Uh, no, standing committee is 15B. The, di the difficulty, Doctor, is the fact that while the agenda is printed one way, it's on board docs in a different order. Yeah, that's one. I was looking at it earlier today, and I moved it by accident. And I thought, did I move that or did I not move that? Uh, sorry. right. You're forgiven. Because <laughs> it threw me off. Oh, okay. standing, standing Committee General Government, chaired by Commissioner Phil Duckham. Commissioner Duckham. Any nominations from the floor? The chair would nominate Robert Duke. Any other nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Yes, Mr. Chair. Commissioner Baer? Commissioner Walls? Duke. Commissioner Kennedy? Snell. Commissioner Duckham? Duke. Commissioner Tompkins? Duke. Commissioner Mahoney? Duke. Commissioner Williams? Duke. Commissioner Elwell? No. Chairman Shotwell? Duke. Okay. 7-2? Yep. Mr. Duke is appointed 7-2. Commissioner Duckham? Any nominations from the floor? Mr. Any other nominations from the floor? Hearing none, Madam Clerk. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Commissioner Walls? <coughs> Excuse me. Commissioner Kennedy? Adams. Commissioner Duckham? Harris. Commissioner Tompkins? Harris. Commissioner Mahoney? Adams. Commissioner Williams? Adams. Commissioner Elwell? Adams. Commissioner Baer? Adams. Chairman Shotwell? Harris. 5 4, correct? Yes. For Adams, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Adams is, or Louise Adams has received the nomination and the appointment. Commissioner Duckham. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This will be our third and final appointment tonight. It will be a land bank, land bank city representative. Uh, the current member is David Taylor. David Taylor did reapply, and uh, the committee uh, forwarded David K Taylor's name to the board. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Duckham. That's all the business we have tonight, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Under general government standing committees, we have item 15B, as asked by uh, Commissioner Kennedy. Which was 11 uh, you said. Correct. Which is the fee schedule. I need a motion to forward the fee schedule. Second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? I'll just make a brief discussion if I could, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Just. Thank you. What? <coughs> you got jokes. I like it. I like it. It's coming from that chair. He has three minutes. <laughs> All right. I've just noticed some of some of the fees are, uh, as I mentioned in the study session, go, going from zero to uh, hundred dollars and one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I, I did appreciate the follow up email as to what these were. However, I wasn't real satisfied with the response of, well, other counties are doing it, so we should too. Um, I'm never a huge advocate of passing on additional fees to people unless they're absolutely necessary. Um, also throughout it, I noted some others that are fairly substantial increases, 105% increase in one area, 47% uh, increases in others. So I'm not extremely comfortable with it, and uh, I understand we have costs increasing, uh, but uh, I'm not real comfortable with passing all these on uh, to citizens. That's it. Any other comments? Commissioner Duckham, and then Commissioner Bear. It is my understanding that the fees we charge are the monetary fees for the services given at, at cost, correct? Uh, so this is what it's costing the county to provide this service. And I think we should, uh, I don't like the fees either, but if we have to have it, we have to have it. It shouldn't be taken out of general budget somehow. So I'll, I'll have to uh, support the, the fees as presented. Thank you. Commissioner Bear. Okay. Any other commissioner comments? <laughs> commissioner Elwell. Mike, are you confident that uh, the ones that are raised the most that Corey's talking about are in fact uh, designed to recoup the actual cost of the service. Are, are there any here that you would see as questionable, do you think, that are too high to recoup the cost? I recognize that a number of them have gone up substantially, especially from a per percentage uh, perspective. Uh, it has been sometimes as much as 10 years since some of these fees have changed. I did uh, speak with the Health Department, Don in particular, who they did do a fee calculation structure analysis of, uh, of all their fees. Uh, in light of their budget and everything, and they uh, report that these are accurate reflections of the true cost of the providing the service. Uh, that does not mean that county commissioner uh, or commissioners, the county, can't subsidize any particular service you choose to subsidize. But uh, at the same time, those costs are what it costs us to provide the service uh, one way or the other. Either we pay it through a fee or we use general tax dollars for it. Uh, 
given the uh, challenges we've had with budget and particularly the health department, uh, that's why we've uh, asked that they uh, take a close look at their fees, make sure they are meeting their costs, and make those recommendations to the board, and that they do it more timely, like every year, at least look at the fees. That's why we bring the whole fee list to the board every September with the budget, uh, not that every we expect fees on every department or every fee to go up. We do not, but we expect uh, them to be accurate reflected and the board to have uh, uh, to make an informed decision about what the fees should or shouldn't be based on the information provided by the department heads. So I've just got one other comment then. Uh, it was spoken by Commissioner Kennedy of we checked with the county surrounding us and I, that uh, I think pales in comparison to just recouping the cost of what the service is. I, I don't necessarily think comparing us to the other counties is the best way to set a fee. We have to be able to figure out what the service cost and that's what the fee should be. What it I understood that to be was that they looked at uh, other counties in regard to what fees they were charging. Are there some services we have not been charging fees for? It's how I understood that to be not necessarily uh, determining the fee based on what other counties charge, but on uh, what uh, our costs are. In fact, I would go as far to tell you that, uh, well, you know this, the Bolt decision, it's not legal to charge fees that are in excess of what the costs are. That becomes a tax, and therefore you have that, that legal challenge. Can, can I ask one question about, and I apologize for not being here for the standing committee where this was talked about, but I think it's page six. It talks about food vendors for the firework shows per trailer and uh, it goes on to list Memorial Weekend July 3rd Labor Day if it's truly recouping the cost of what I assume the inspections or the cost of allowing that how can it go from 350 or 425 to a thousand fifty if you know that okay Thank you. I think Commissioner Mahoney had a comment about my question. Commissioner Mahoney. That's for that's for all three events. That thousand fifty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Further questions? Mr. Kennedy. Just a comment going just going forward, you know, inflation generally is around three percent. So if these incre increases are justified, I'm not saying they're not uh, on the actual cost, that's a lot of years of letting stuff go by. And I don't recommend doing this ever again, this drastic of a jump. You know, I think people um, could react to a 2 to even 5% rate adjustment, but when you're seeing some of these jump 105%, 86%, 47%, and we're talking hundreds of dollars, you know, that, that, that can be substantial uh, to a person's budget, and it jumps out at them, and, uh, you know, that's how people get upset. So I would just uh, caution in the future of, I guess, letting it go that long. If we need to do increases, then we should probably uh, be reviewing it annually and adjusting moderately instead of drastically. Mr. Duckham? Yes, yeah, sitting here listening to the conversation and the reasons for the fees being raised, uh, I was assured they are at cost, but like my uh, fellow two commissioners who spoke here about uh, big jumps uh, on a percentage basis, would it make sense to just take the rate of inflation and adjust the fees annually and, and instead of having big jumps every five or ten years? Just wondering, okay? If I may, Chair. Go ahead. That, that is our intent. This, this is, a, frankly, in all honesty, it's an oversight. These fees were not included. We've been bringing fees for, what, uh, four or five years now like this, and we've always told everybody, you know, you don't, do not not bring a fee. If you think your, chain, your costs have changed, be it up or down uh, on a particular uh, fee, you should reflect that in there. This... Um, um, well, we're rem the bottom line, we're, we are remiss. They should have done this 
uh, I'm told some of these fees they hadn't looked at or did the math or anything on for like 10 years and it's like okay uh, we needed to be taking a look at that every year and I think part of it is you don't want to necessarily just add an inflation factor because there are legal implications if you find that the inflation factor has outpaced inflation and you're charging a fee that is in excess of your costs. We could be uh, see a court challenge on a bolt case. And uh, what I've told them to do is now that they've actually gone through and done all the math, it's like, hey, you save, save that spreadsheet and you just basically update your spreadsheet. Put in your labor, put in your health care, put in, you know, those kind of things, changes. So we should not be uh, in this situation ever again. Uh, you should see a fee structure every year that is an adequate, adequate, fair representation of what our costs are. Thank you. Questions? Okay, the board chair is going to speak now on this. I've tried to be quiet and wait to see if someone says anything from administration. We have a policy on fees. I'm going to ask the administrator controller to contact his department heads and go over that fee policy and make sure they understand that uh, the exception that they made here is uh, not within board policy and they're in violation of that. And uh, I want everyone to be aware that we did do our homework on this stuff and uh, it was looked overlooked by department heads. It's not uh, not something that that is looked at regularly and should be because it is a policy of the board. With that, Madam Clerk, can you post the vote? Yes, Mr. Passed eight to one. Item sixteen is unfinished business. We have none to come before the board. Does anyone wish to bring anything up? New business. Any new business to come before the board? Under new business, I think that there's a birthday that needs to be properly sang for uh, Darius Williams by the uh, Board of Commissioners in his honor uh, today, led by Commissioner Daniel Mahoney, who pointed it out. If you would be so kind, Commissioner Mahoney. I would remind everyone, it is a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Darius. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. We have now <coughs> we have now arrived at the second opportunity for public comment. Each individual have two minutes to address the board. You may only address the board once under this public comment opportunity. You may not yield your time to other board members nor debate or have the commission answer questions at this time. Public comment. Any public comment. Public comment is now closed. Commissioner comments. Mr. Boney. Uh, my microphone is broken. Um, just a just a quick comment. Uh, this uh, this past weekend uh, lost a, a very close family member of mine, uh, Clinton Harris, who was in a uh, pretty bad, obviously uh, super bad uh, motorcycle accident. Um, pretty late at night so it's not real clear exactly what other conditions may have uh, caused his accident uh, however one thing that I do know about uh, my cousin is that he exercises his right to not wear a helmet uh, and I, I, I just like to uh, say during this public comment that I really wish uh, that the powers that be uh, at the state level would consider making a change to that and making it a law for if you are riding a motorcycle uh, that you have 
a uh, protective headgear on. Uh, so I just wanted to make that comment. Dr. Tompkins. i like to add to that that if they choose not to wear a helmet, okay, they sign their donor card on their license. Any other commissioner comments? Seeing none, we have no closed session. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. We have a motion in support. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, duly carried.